WEHT Local Lifestyles continues. Angel Mounds is the site of the Native American Fine Arts Show and Sale. Next to me is Katrina Mitten, and she is from the Miami Beadwork. Is her work here? It's beautiful. Nelson Garcia, born in the Santa Domingo Pueblo in New Mexico, is a jeweler whose original work has won countless awards. And standing next to him, Mike Linderman, and Mike is going to tell us about the big event this week. And welcome to all of you to Lifestyles. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So when does it all start, Mike? Uh, it starts tonight between six and eight. We have an opening night reception. And then from 10 to 5 Saturday and 10 to 5 on Sunday. This is a big weekend. It is. Yes. Great and on top to of that, we have the Day of the Dead Festival tomorrow. Yes, Angel that's Mouse. going on at Angel Mounds, yeah. too. So we're just going to celebrate everybody's coming. <laughs> want to, yeah. because the Day of the Dead was out there last year. It was a lot, a mm -hmm. lot of fun. So it's a good combination of things. Mm -hmm. So, Katrina, let me talk to you about your beautiful artwork. Oh, thank you. How, how long did it take you to create this? Uh, this took me about three months, but I've been beating for 45 years, so I'm a little faster than some. So. <laughs> but it's so impressive. So how did you learn this? And tell me about this as it relates to your culture. Uh, I'm a self-taught beadwork artist. Uh, many of my people, all but 150, were removed from Indiana in 1846. So to find someone to teach me how to do beadwork was hard. There wasn't as many people doing that. So I decided to teach myself at a young age. So I started looking at pieces, you know, that the family still had and um, pieces in museums later on. And in tr in traditionally, in, in your culture, what how were these items used? Well, this this is actually a traditional bandolier bag. This would have been worn uh, by the men. Use the bandolier bags. It's worn across the chest. It's and a crossbody. It's exactly. a crossbody, and uh, and usually they would have floral patterns on the front. So if you look at any museums, you'll see them with floral patterns on the front. But I wanted this piece to be a piece that was a little more contemporary in design, and it's representing the ten original clans of the Miami people. Let me see if I can lift it up here. Mm -hmm. And is the motif along the side? Is that uh, a, has a meaning or a story? The use of uh, triangles and circles, you'll find that in a lot of traditional pieces of the woodland culture and others. Well, it's absolutely beautiful. So you'll have, you'll have a, a table display, a, a booth I'll there. have a display of this type of work, and then also I do wearable art of vests and jewelry. And Oh, we can't wait to see it all. Yeah. Oh, how wonderful. Yes. And Nelson, let's talk about your long history in okay. jewelry making. How did you begin? Well, my father was a silversmith, so I learned this at a younger age when I was in grade school. I used to sit right next to my dad making jewelry, and that's how I learned. And, did, and when you were a child, were you interested in that, or did you just kind of come, your, your dad encouraged you or, yeah, made, or my, made you do it? Well, yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, my dad made me do it. I had to sit my right, next, right next to his table while he was working. And he, he always says, the only way you can learn is you're going to have to sit right here and watch me, how I do my work. And how old were you when you started? Uh, probably eight years old, ten years old. Well, what have you, you've learned a thing or two oh, in, your, in your decades. <laughs> yeah. So let's talk about the pieces okay. we have before us here. Well, what I have here is mostly uh, like a contemporary and traditional jewelry here, and I use uh, various type of stones here, too. And yeah. you, you just are you just creating this in your mind? Are you all, you're probably also doing things by order. If, so, if I say oh. I would like... Something. You mean custom order? Yeah, yes. yeah, I do a lot of custom orders. And then my creation, you know, I just go to my studio and sit there and I, I just uh, sit down and say, this is what I'm going to do. And so I just go. <laughs> Have you passed your art down to your children? Yeah, my, my son's doing this. He's, he works with me and he's, he's doing shows too. So. Yeah, my son. Keep it in the family. Yeah. Keep the, mm -hmm. right. Because we don't think about silversmiths. I mean, that is not an art form that most of us talk about, yeah. at least mm -hmm. certainly locally. Yeah. Right. And is that is it an elaborate setup where you have to have a lot of equipment, or is this mostly all hand done? No, well, it, it does take a lot of equipment. Yeah, not only the equipments and along with the supplies, too. You've got to have your stones, and you've got to get your silver to make jewelry with you. Yeah. Well, it's absolutely stunning. Now, I assume we can follow both of you on Facebook or online mm -hmm. individually. Mm -hmm. Right. And, but if you want to meet them personally and observe and purchase some of their art, this is an opportunity. Mike, have we done this event before? Ten years. We've do, been doing this ten years? Mm -hmm. And does it always fall at this first end of mark? It's about this time of year. November, yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. Well, this is a great opportunity to celebrate the Day of the Dead and to meet these wonderful yeah. people and learn about their culture and celebrate Native American heritage. This is so important, not just to the tri-state, but to America and American history. Thank you both for sharing well, your time you. and talents. Thank you. Thank Very you. beautiful. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll be back with more Local Lifestyles. Ron Rhodes is cooking up something over there. I don't even know. <laughs> I'm cooking up a pretty good forecast for the weekend is what I'm cooking up. I'll be back to tell you more about that and also introduce you to Carmi.
White County High School students right after this.